This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2020 Cedar Creek Silverback Edition fifth wheel, model number 37 FLB. Okay, so this is just going to be a how to video. I'm going to go around and show you some of the features and how they work. Um, we're still cleaning it and prepping it, so it's it's not in its finished state yet, but we'll I'll give you a I'll do the best I can. So starting off, you got a six-point leveling system. All right. So you can see that uh, you have uh, your two front landing gear. Hopefully you can see that all the way back there. Then you have the center and the rear. Uh, I'll show you how those operate when we get to the controls, okay? Um, also, while we're standing here, you have a power awning with LED strip. This is just TV signal out and power, outside speakers, all the usual stuff. So we've got two 30-pound um, LP tanks. Okay, I just got it blocked. This is a spray port. You could you get a little spray hose with it. Of course, there's storage up front here. Now, there's two ways to operate the leveling system. This is the first way. This. Um, Basically, you push both the arrows, the up and the down at the same time in order to turn it on. See it lit up right there. And then you're just going to push auto level or to bring it down, you'll push auto hitch height. Retract all you don't want to do because it'll even know, it'll retract the, the, the landing gear and it'll nose dive the trailer. So hitch height is basically when you auto level it, it remembers the last height it was at before you auto level it, right? That's what it considers hitch height. So, in theory, if you push hitch height, it should put it back in the position it was in before you unhitched, and you should be able to back right underneath it, and off you go, in a perfect world anyway. So, that those are the two main features for this. Now, there's another panel inside that has some more features. I'll show you that when I get in, when we get inside. But that's the uh, that's the basic uh, panel there. All right. So, you got a hose reel. Obviously, this is a, a dump hose. This is a power inverter, right? So inverters, if you don't know, I'll just assume you don't just so I don't leave anybody out, but inverters um, convert 12 volt DC into 110 AC. So what this inverter does, it takes the 12 volt DC out of your batteries. Your batteries are wired together as 12 volt. It just considers a one battery. Um, so it takes this power here, there and inverts it and sends it to your refrigerator. Your refrigerator in here is a regular household 110 AC refrigerator, a big one. So um, that's what this inverter does. It, it sends AC current to the refrigerator when you're not plugged in. It takes it from the batteries. Of course, when you're towing down the road, your tow vehicle is charging your batteries, right? And then, like I said, it's converted here and it goes to your, your refrigerator. Now this also converts power, which is the opposite. It, converting goes from AC to DC. Inverting goes from DC to AC, okay? I'll talk to you more about that when we get inside. Um, he's still cleaning up here, like I said, but you have, uh, this is your sprayer, obviously. Um, this is your water hookup right here. And there's two positions. Uh, vertical is city water. So you just hook it on there if you got city water. You turn it on and you're all set, okay? Now if you're if you're going camping someplace where there's not plumbing on the campsite, you can switch it to this position and it'll fill your fresh water tank. Then you can use the water pump to pump out the uh, or pump the water from the tank and it'll work just like it has city water, okay? Now uh, this is the kill switch for your battery right here. So if you want to shut it off, you can do it just like that. Okay. Um, this is just cable and satellite through, all the usual stuff. This is a black tank flush, so after you dump your black tank, which is obviously toilet water and waste, you can leave the valve open, put the hose at the dump station right in here and spray out the inside of your tank. Uh, and it'll get really clean, it'll clean off the sensors, so you get a good reading, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, those are just the low points. Your cord is 30 feet long and it's a 50 amp cord. We give you all the reducers to reduce it down also. 
Um, this uh, is a sewer connection for your uh, for your black tank here, and then of course there are two valves here. Right, so that's where your valves are at. There's this this trailer has two two toilets in it, so there's two black tanks. Uh, so to to flush your second black tank, you'll use this this one right here. So you got two black tanks, so you have two flushes. Let me see what's in here. I think this is just storage here. I haven't really been through this one yet, so let me look. Yeah, this just goes to uh, to uh, common storage. And those are the valves for your water heater, the bypass valves, right there. Right now, this is this is winterized, so the water heater's empty, and the um, the uh, let me see, the water heater's empty. And uh, the, ba the valves are bypassed right now, so it's in winter mode. Okay, so you have a, a backup camera housing that's pre-wired for backup camera. You also have a housing for, let me walk back to where we were here, for the entry door. And uh, you have this one right here. And then it's pre-wired for two side marker cameras, one on the door side and one on the off door side. It would just plug in right here, the camera I mean. Okay, so um, it has, you, can, you can add an out total of uh, 12, or excuse me, oh my god, you get a, a total of four cameras uh, to the uh, trailer. Now we have a, we have a, a ladder here which is great because the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 90 days. So make sure you take care of that, that's important. Okay, so let's go inside. Like I said, we're still cleaning here and prepping, so um, there's your, your vac system there, central vacuum system. Um, this is the, the uh, remote hookup for your, for your uh, uh, trailer, oops, sorry. needs a lot of adjustment there. This is your control panel, your touch panel. So, you can operate everything from here. Uh, uh, if you look at the awning, for example, they, they, there's your extended retract. Um, HVAC, you got your uh, bedroom climate, your living climate, heating and cooling, very self-evident. Uh, now the leveling system, remember I told you there was a second way to work the leveling system? That's this right here. It does, it does uh, auto hitch, auto level, and um, just like the other one, right? But if you uh, were to scroll down right here, you could, you could click, uh, uh, where's, where's the mark? Enter to get into auto mode, or to get into manual mode, I'm sorry. And now you can um, operate the jacks independently from each other. You could push it, and then you would, uh, you, you would want to, in this case, we'll just, we'll just go with extend. I'm not going to really do it at this point, but you push extend and then you push whatever jack you want. And it'll extend and of course you can go to retract, do the same thing. So this does the same thing as the, as the outdoor uh, leveling control does, except it has more features to it. You still, it comes down to auto hitch height and auto level. Okay, so push home here. As if I can get there. Let me see what I'm doing wrong here. If I do it, if anything. There we go. Okay. So then you you have other features. Your monitor panel, which is all your tank levels and everything. Of course, turning your water heater on and off on electric, on and off in gas. Now that the water heater is empty right now, so keep in mind that. Uh, uh, you never run the electric heating element or the gas burner without water in the tank, obviously. And you have tank heaters on this one, so your, your, uh, all your holding tanks have um, uh, heating pads on them, that sort of thing. And then, of course, water pump on and off, all, all that sort of stuff. I don't have to go through everything, but you get the idea. Um, now, slide outs, of course. Now, this is telling us that there's an app for it, so you can get all the information you need 
for your app off of the sticker right here. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. We'll go forward here. Okay, so you have two hide beds here. You see you pull the back cushions off, and then these will fold out into three panel beds. So you got two of them right there. And they're, they're actually, these hide beds go, they're pretty, pretty comfortable compared to the way they used to be anyway. Now, of course, you, this is the remote for your, for your uh, fireplace. The fireplace, let me get this wrapper off of it, hold on. The fireplace itself is a great space heater. So we have on and off, obviously. Then we can change the, the intensity of the flame, like that. Okay. Uh, you can uh, do the temperature up and down. Set your thermostat. Celsius or Fahrenheit, and you also have a timer on it. So you could set the timer. If, you know, if you get up at you know six, seven o'clock every morning, you could set the timer to turn this on. Uh, uh, you know, 20 minutes before you get up in the morning, it'll take the chill out of this part of the trailer, and you don't use any of your limited supply of LP either because it runs on electricity. So it's a good thing to have. It's a good, really good space heater. Okay. Now you have two more remotes. Obviously, this is your TV remote here. And this is your your radio or uh, media, whatever you want to call this thing, remote. So with this here, you have an AM FM radio. You have Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly with a with your phone or tablet. You, you play discs, CDs, and DVDs here. It has two speaker zones: zone one and zone two. One is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. You also have a USB here. You have an HDMI here. This HDMI is an in. So if you wanted to go into the system with another device, you can go straight in right there, plug it in there, set it here, and go straight in there. Um, so it does everything you need in that some when it comes to camping. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. This is your router. You'll have to read up more about it. But um, you get a router with it. Plus, this is telling us that it's pre-wired for, for a public Wi-Fi booster. Um, if you ever, if you go to the ad, their address at this kingconnect.com, they'll have different options. Always, if you're going to do it, always choose the one with the antenna on the roof, because uh, you want to get a good solid signal, and it'll it'll just give you a better bandwidth. You'll just be, you can you can get a lot more out of just average uh, public Wi-Fi. So, but that's just pre-wired for that. If you wanted to do that, okay. Always get the one with the antenna on the roof. So you have some theater seats here, and you can see there's a, it's a, um, there's no lever on it or rip cord. It actually has a motorized, so you can just push the button to extend the footrest and that sort of thing. Okay, refrigerator. Remember I told you the inverter supplies the power to this. I also mentioned, let me walk around here for a second, see what I can find. Okay. I'll get to the power converter in a few minutes when I find it. I just haven't spotted it yet. Okay. All right. So uh, your microwave works like any other microwave. This one is convection, I believe, or is it? Yeah. Here, let me read it to make sure, but I think it is. You might know more about that than I do. Usually, if it has the shelf in it. Ah, uh, it doesn't say it doesn't say convection on it anywhere. So. Don't 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 listen to what I'm saying on that one because I'm just I could be giving you the wrong information. Uh, when it comes to working your your burners, it's very simple. Um, you're just going to spark it and light it. That's all. Oven's the same way, so it's very simple. Um, pantry here with all pull-out drawers, which are really really convenient. This is your carbon dioxide LP gas detector. It should always be green, like it is. The LED has to be green. If it's not, get it serviced because it's obviously, very, obviously a very important thing. Um, I bet there's two more chairs underneath the, the bed also. We'll look and see in a minute. All right, so this is the half bath. Um, so first of all, you know, you have this, the sink and all that stuff is self-evident. But this is the controller for your power vent. It controls the lid and everything goes up and down, so it's, a, it's really nice. The great thing about these is, uh, obviously, if you're if in the other in the other bedroom or bathroom where there's a shower, if you're using the shower, you want to vent it, right? Uh, also, if you if you've got a bunch of people over here, 
and um, it's the time of night where you're start, starting to get cool outside, so you're getting condensation for people's breath. You put these fans on low, you can't even hear them at all, and it'll pull all that condensation right out. The toilet works like any other RV toilet, it's got a flush pedal. This is the con power converter that I was talking about. So I showed you the inverter, which inverts power and inverts it from DC to AC. So this does just the opposite. Uh, you start with 100, when it's plugged in, you have 110 AC. Um, you have all these, excuse me, circuit breakers like you see at home, and they're all labeled, right? Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC over here. You got 12 volt fuses, and they're labeled. Okay, if they blow, they'll light up, and you can see them through this tinted plastic here. But most important, or importantly anyway, the, uh, this is also a battery tender. So um, as long as you're plugged in, like I said, you're, it's, going to, it's going to convert the AC to, to 12 volt DC, and then it'll sense how much energy your battery up front needs, or in your case, batteries up front need, and it'll act accordingly. If, if they're topped off, it'll just trickle a couple amps to maintain them. If they're low, it'll send 10 amps or whatever it needs up to them to keep them charged. So um, when you're, like I said, when you're plugged in, this will charge your batteries, and uh, when you're not and you're towing it on the road, your, your uh, tow vehicle's alternator will charge them. Okay. All right. Let's move on a little farther here. Another um, fan, power fan, just like the other one. This is a sensor for the, for the HVAC system. This is just telling us that there's wires behind here. It's pre-wired if you wanted to add solar to it. It just already has the wires in the wall, so you don't have to fish them. These are two more chairs that I told you about for your, for your dinette. Okay. Another TV. Now this is pre-wired and plumbed for a washer-dryer combo right here. You can use it as a closet, but um, if, you, if you want to, you can install a, a washer-dryer combo. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. Now the toilet's the same, the same deal. You have to have, um, you know, the, the, you step on the pedal. This is the black tank directly below. Obviously, you may know all this already, but I'll just go through real quick. So you can't use it without chemical and water in it, or else the smell will be terrible and it, and it can get clogged up. So before you use it, after you hook up your power and your water, you'll come in here. You'll put one dose of chemical in this toilet. You do the same thing to the other toilet, and then you step on the pedal and. Um, let the water swirl in there and you'll put about a gallon or so of water in the black tank. Um, some people use more, it's up to you, but the thing is you have to have water and chemical in it before you use it. You never use it dry. Okay. Alright, so let me look around a little bit to see if I've forgotten anything. Another power vent, of course. Uh, GFCIs, there's, this one probably has two of them. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI. It'll be this one or one up front. Um, so keep that in mind. Alrighty. You got lots of slide rooms. You have five of them, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five slide rooms. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, um, of course, we'll go over the trailer when you pick it up and we'll answer all your questions. This is just sort of a prep video here. So, um, first, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. And second of all, please remember what I said about inspecting your roof and the roof seals and uh, the roof attachments, everything. Uh, you do that every 90 days. And right now, this trailer is uh, winterized. The water heater is empty and the, val the valves are bypassed and there's antifreeze in the system. Okay? Thank you.